uh, hi everyone in this uh, video tutorial we will further uh, talk about the Gaussian distribution uh, in the last video I explained that uh, how do you define Gaussian distribution so if we take an example of a dart game uh, so we have a target and uh, if we are a skillful player then it's most likely that we will hit the center of the target but sometimes we miss uh, the the target and we can either be little away from the target too but it's less likely that we'll be far away from the target so in that case if we take a, a horizontal area like uh, as i described here so if we take this horizontal strip and we try to draw the number of times we have thrown uh, and what are that uh, where did we throw then this is how uh, uh, the distribution will look like so if we draw a line then uh, there will be most of the throws uh, at the center so this is the center and uh, if you go away from the center then the number of throws uh, will decrease and then uh, it will be very very less as you are far away from the center and same uh, if you go on the uh, right side so this is what we call Gaussian distribution and uh, most of the uh, things which happen in the world uh, are always meant to be on the target but they always uh, chances to miss on the upside or downside and that's why we always have a lot of use of Gaussian distribution and we call this as a standard error I uh, will explain about the concept of standard error so but let's uh, uh, take some more uh, thinking uh, do some more thinking about Gaussian distribution so suppose uh, if you are a very skillful player then it's very likely that you will be on the target right so if, if I draw a, a distribution for very skillful player so this is our throws uh, number of throws and this is uh, the target right so if I draw this uh, it will look something like this right so this is a very skillful player because uh, so most of the time it's, he, he gets the target but uh, if we have someone else who is not that skillful but he's still uh, a good player then his distribution will look more like this so he, he will have more throws uh, away from the uh, target but uh, it will be increasing near the target but as I uh, can see that he has relatively less number of uh, uh, throws which will go on to the target and more number of throws uh, away from the target so this is how the distribution will look like but if there is another player who doesn't have any skills uh, in throwing and uh, all his throws goes very random then uh, it will be a flat line so in that case there will be no bias for the target and uh, this is what we call now the random distribution and this is what we call uh, Gaussian distribution so his throws will be totally random so in that case there is no target so this is how we'll define the Gaussian distribution but um, if you look in all the three cases uh, if we take the mean then all the time the mean will be the target so it will be center so in case of uh, both this Gaussian distribution we can see that the player meant to be on the target uh, and uh, from that we can we can see what's the target but based on the width of this distribution we can say that how good that player was right so we use this distribution to understand the certain events which happen uh, in uh, science or in our daily life in politics or even in uh, economics uh, in share market so this this uh, concept is used a lot but uh, to further understand this concept let me give you another example and then uh, we'll talk about more advanced concepts so uh, now the another example will be uh, suppose uh, if we have a, a small uh, mm, so if we have a dog and the dog uh, is uh, at the center of the park so he so this is our park right and uh, and there is a dog which is in the center uh, of the park so now dog has nothing to do and he's just walking around in the park right 
so if you look at the first one minute so suppose this is the center of the park so the dog uh, is very likely for you to find the dog at the center but there is still some chances that he's still little away from the center so this is the big park i'm not saying that the dog can just walk uh, just run away to the corner of the park but it's like a, it's like suppose it's a central park it's a very big park so now it can uh, uh, so this is what the distribution will look like so so you will say where is the dog so dog dog should be in the center but it it dog could be little away from the center but it's very likely that he will be in the center so this is how you will say the distribution of the dog position is in the park but if you wait for five minutes then uh, it's more likely that dog has moved around so the chances to find the dog at the center of the park will be less and uh, in that case the distribution will look more like this so it's more spread out so but again uh, the scenario will be that he will be in the center but uh, it's less likely uh, as compared to uh, it would have been uh, one minute ago so it's, it's more chances that he will not be the center but same if you wait for uh, one hour then in that case uh, the dog might have moved anywhere in the park so in that case the distribution will look like this so it's totally random so this become random distribution so dog can be anywhere in the park so there is no preference for the center so this is the same uh, example instead of using dart uh, we explain the movement of a dog which is just walking around in the park and it's taking random distribution right so um, we can use uh, or simulate the the movement of dog also in the uh, excel sheet and i'll make a small tutorial for you uh, in which you can see that how the distribution will look like uh, when the dog uh, will just move around in the park and how we can go from uh, caution distribution to random distribution um, i hope uh, this uh, video uh, is useful and uh, we'll talk more uh, about caution distribution in the next video tutorial thank you